Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Irma. Today's video, we're going to go ahead and start decorating my fall front porch for the year 2022. As you can tell here, it is extremely dirty and dusty. The front porch has been neglected for quite some time already and it's a very noticeable. So we're going to go ahead and deep clean this whole area before we can start decorating. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We actually had rain a couple days before I filmed this video so you can see the little raindrops that are on the glass table from so much dust there's also tons of cobwebs like oh my gosh it's ready for halloween but i'm not ready for the halloween so i'm gonna go ahead and definitely wipe those off with our little cobweb cleaner hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys feel the motivation i hope it gives you guys ideas as well for the um, fall decorating part and let's go ahead and get started ahead and start pruning my plants with the extreme heat that we have been getting lately they look like they're dead but trust me they're not dead they just need a really nice trim so i'm just gonna go ahead and quickly trim them down and remove whatever leaves are dried um, down to the bottom here you guys see me quickly trimming off all of the dead flowers you can see parts where it's green i should have showed you guys a closer look but it's actually realiving again so this plant is actually really similar to like the mums uh but this one actually flowers during the spring and summertime and it kind of dies away during the winter and the fall finished pruning all of my plants and flowers i'm just gonna go ahead and quickly take the rake to rake up all of the dead leaves and everything just to go ahead and put it in a bucket to throw it away but as you can tell it's extremely dusty while i'm doing this but you're just gonna see so much that it was pruned off and it's actually very satisfying to me to see how the yard is starting to get very clean and if you guys are enjoying today's video don't forget to give me a like that lets me know you guys enjoy watching content like this <laughs> Energize me while I fantasize deep sleep, big heat, cover me. As I'm gathering all the trash that is on this side, you can see it's a very big pile. It didn't even fit in my bucket that I had, but I made it work. And yeah, so after I'm dumping it up here, I'm going to go ahead and quickly pick up the bunches of leaves that I left on the other side before we could go ahead and start bringing out the hose and a bucket with some soapy water to go ahead and start washing and cleaning down the porch and everything. Um, I'm actually going to be doing my door as well. I don't remember when was the last time I washed my door, but it was definitely in need for that. So everything you guys 
guys see me gathering here is the birds. We have a lot of birds, which I am excited to have birds in our house. And they always lay their eggs and we see the birdies hatch and everything. But here in the front yard, the birds have a habit where they make this huge mess. You're always trying to make their nest in our gutter in the front yard. So that's where all of that comes out because once it's windy and everything, all of it blows. But we're going to go ahead and start washing everything down. I'm starting off here with our little front door patio center here. Um, like you guys saw before, the glass was extremely dirty. So I'm just grabbing a microfiber cloth and some dish soap and some water just to go ahead and wipe all that down. Outdoor table and chairs have actually lasted us a very long time. So I got it when we recently had our house back in 2012. So I actually bought it a few months after we got our house. And it only cost me $15 at the swap meet. And it has held up so well. I am so glad that this was like totally worth the $15. Like it was worth even more, right? But the lady was selling it for $15. I snatched it up and it's been perfect up here. We do get in our front yard the afternoon heat or the sun. So it's like this place has no shade here. And the chairs you can tell they're still in very good condition and very well held up. So I am so excited that this has not gone to waste after so many years. Because most of the times after so many years you would see them like needing a new one or something. But it's definitely working out still. So now I'm going to go ahead and start holding down the windows here. You can see a little bit of how dirty they were. There's some parts I'm trying to show you guys. Like the camera just doesn't pick up the exact extreme dirty how everything is. But I'm just going to go ahead and hose down the windows and the shutters to go ahead and quickly wash those with using the brush and some soap from my bucket that I have there. to go ahead and start cleaning my door so while I'm just holding it down especially on the way top of the door frame it was extremely dirty dusty like we can't see up there because it's so high up but once I threw the water in there trust me so much brown water came running down it was crazy and like I mentioned before the door I don't even remember when was the last time I actually washed my door so it was definitely needed for that um if you're wondering if the water went inside of my house I went ahead and put a towel on the inside and the bottom part just in case because of pressuring the water to the door was probably going to slip through or something. But it actually did not go down. But this is just a little reminder. If you guys have not washed your door or your screen door or maybe the front windows, go ahead and do so. Trust me, they're going to be dusty just the same as this one was. Weakest point makes a world of difference. Oh, you make me strong. Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough 
shining from within I can tell that you're tough Ordering a cup of love Feel it rising up and above You will always keep my heart and soul strong Plant your seeds and watch them grow The light will always know where to go You will always keep my heart and soul Strong. You're the first thing in the morning and the So here is where I tried to show you guys a little bit more of how dusty the things were. It really doesn't show like the true color like exactly the way it was but you guys saw there that it was extremely dusty and here on the other side of the column as well i really never even thought about rinsing down this part but it's like on the obvious there's like a little ledge there so definitely the dust is gonna pile up i think my whole house just needs a really good rinse down or something but i guess that's gonna happen until it starts raining because can you imagine how much water i'm gonna waste just to rinse down my house but yeah, I definitely have to rinse down my sidewalks or my entryway. I just feel like if I blow it or sweep it, it doesn't clean as well. And then my floors inside my house, if you guys have not seen my indoors, I have darker um, LVP flooring. So whatever does the shoes or feet pick up outside, it actually tracks it inside and it makes it more noticeable. But that's why I like to rinse down or hose down my front porch like the cement area and everything but now i'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning the other window from the other side of our house i hope you guys are enjoying this video if you guys are don't forget to give me a like and if you guys would like to see more videos like this let me know down in the comments what are the like the videos you guys enjoy watching most and don't forget to subscribe could hear my father's voice He would tell me to move on He would say I'll be just fine Yeah, he would tell me we have time Time to laugh and time to heal Our favorite song is on repeat Drinking wine until the dawn So while I'm over here still holding down and rinsing off my cement areas, as you can tell, so much dirt was on there. I actually made a very muddy little area right there. But I went ahead and quickly um, just watered my plants and everything really fast. Like I mentioned before, it did actually rain, but it just was, it was like a little light sprinkle, kind not a very good shower. So I just went ahead and took the advantage that the hose was out and just watered my plants and kind of like rinsed off or wet a little bit the dirt since you saw previously it was super dusty when i was um raking it so i just wanted to go ahead and like pat down the dirt so it won't be so dusty but here are all of the afters of how it turned out now that it's nice and cleaned i'm gonna go ahead and decorate on the next day i also have a diy that i'm gonna show with you guys for some outdoor pillows that i have done also um 
but yeah i just wanted to go ahead and quickly get this washed and everything so when i laid down my rug it wasn't wet so now let's go ahead and get into the diy so for that if you guys are not new over here you guys saw i have these pillows for my summer decorate video on in our living room on my sofa so i'm gonna go ahead and flip them around and these images here are these little like sticker iron on stickers i did so like a little short video here on youtube about them I did have them linked over there, so if you guys wanted to go ahead and check out these stickers, go ahead and check out that video where I put them on my shirts. But they also work perfectly fine for pillows or anything other else. Like I mentioned before, the ones that originally have the picture on the other side, they would also work good for like fall season, but it's not more like my style. So I went ahead and just used these just to save myself a little bit of money. So I'm just going to iron them on like three of them. And then one of them I did actually keep its original picture. They're not humongous, but they're pretty big size. And like I mentioned, it's super easy. All you have to do is just iron them on. Here is another one that I'm going to be doing. So yeah, there's just a little way to help you save some money. If you guys have some pillows that the other side is just like a blank side, you want to go ahead and reuse them. Just go ahead and order some little stickers of these iron-on stickers and just simply iron it on. It's so easy. Here I'm doing another image like this pumpkin one. I just love the color and the vibe of it. So yeah, it's just going to make perfect pillowcases for my outdoors fall decorate and like I mentioned I can always reverse them and use them for my summer one as well you just have to quickly press on iron so easy and then once it is still hot you're just gonna go ahead and peel it off and you can tell if the sticker is sticking or not if there's parts where it's lifting just go ahead and press the iron on there a little bit more and that is all so I here I'm gonna go ahead and remove this so you guys can see so satisfying right but now this is the pillowcase that I left its original one I still thought it was cute with the little blue truck and then this is one of the new ones I made this one as well and then the one behind Behind this is also one of the new ones I just made and then I have this rug that I'm gonna go lay out here it's still not quite flattened down which I wish wish it would have been but maybe I should have just like ironed it or stuck in the dryer but I didn't think so and then on that I'm gonna layer this gather here rug that's from Dollar Tree like years ago I do need another rug and then I'm gonna put my wreath this is the one I had inside my house if you guys saw one of my previous videos I had actually posted about this one and I linked it over there too I will leave uh, my fall playlist in the description box for you guys if you guys want to go ahead and check that out as well I have this happy fall sign that I made like three years ago I'm just gonna go ahead and put it here and then my mom's I brought out my mom's so what I did to save myself some money yes I wanted to save some money for my fall prop front porch so what I went ahead and did is that in my backyard I have mums planted in the ground so I went ahead and took out one of them well actually two of them I took out two mums so this one you see here and the one I previously put are the two mums like I took out and then this one that you guys see right here I ended up taking out another little piece to make a third pot so I wouldn't have to spend any more money in buying mums because like mums are a little bit expensive, trust me. But if I already had them there, I, I saved myself so much money. Although I probably will end up buying some more. Like, I don't know. I just love plants and mums for the fall are just awesome. But these mums are actually from Costco like four years ago. And trust me, a lot of people have been, I posted it over on my Instagram and if you guys are not following my Instagram, go ahead and follow over there because I do share a lot of behind the scenes over there. But after I posted that I had replanted them and I mentioned that they were from Costco four years ago, I had a lot of DMs, like a lot of DMs of people asking me, how do I keep them alive that there's die? Okay, they don't die, you guys. Trust me, they do not die. So they do dry out like the ones from the spring ones that I showed you in my, when I was cleaning in the beginning of the video. So they dry out like that, but once they're dried out, just keep them where they're still in a good area where they'll get a little bit of sun or in the wintertime, well, they're really not going to get sun because we really don't have sun here either. And then if you could water them once in a while, the wintertime doesn't need much watering, but they are going to come back to life. Do not throw them away or give them away. They are still alive. Afterwards, you could just prune all the dead, um, stems off and they're gonna regrow 
they're gonna come back green might actually rebloom again in like in the springtime a little bit in the summer but it's like just a little bit so like fall is when it mainly mainly um blooms but yeah well that's the whole story about my moms and how I saved myself some money. So remember, do not throw your moms away because they are not dead. They are hibernating and they're making you think they're dead. But we're moving on over here to my little seating area. As you can tell, I did put the pillows there. I had that throw blanket on one side, but I felt it was not visible from the street. So I went ahead and moved it to the other side. I'm adding my pillows that we went ahead and quickly did the DIY. Here you see some more on this bench as well. Um, and then you guys saw I brought out pumpkins, so they are real pumpkins. My Walmart has pumpkins finally, so I went ahead and snatched up a couple of real pumpkins for my front porch. Hopefully I could get my hands on a couple more like the gourds or the smaller pumpkins and like I mentioned, maybe some mums as well. But this is how this area is looking. I'm going to go ahead and quickly decorate this little bench over here. So for here, I'm just going to use this yellow sheet that nobody uses in the house. So it's just perfect to throw outside. Plus it's a sheet. And it's, if it rains, it's not going to get extremely wet or like if it's very dusty, I could just go ahead and throw it in the washer and not worry about like a blanket or something getting destroyed. Then I'm going to go ahead and put two of the pillows here just to cozy up this little area a little bit. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and start sharing all of the afters with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, don't forget to give me a like. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. I hope to see you guys all in the next one. And here are the afters. Enjoy. Have an amazing rest of your day, you guys. Bye.